Good morning, this is Marcus Schneck for PennLive.com. I'm at uh, Swatara Creek uh, at uh, Swatara State Park in northern Lebanon County, a few miles above upstream from uh, Lickdale where a lot of roads are closed. Um, we're looking at uh, we're looking at uh, Swat uh, flood uh, a flood at uh, Swatara Creek right now. You can see uh, uh, trees down in the water uh, in up at the bend in the distance. There's a few more uh, closer to us, and you can see it's up it's up to and over its uh, normal banks. Uh, a little island to the right here that's usually exposed is completely out. Um, we're here basically to answer some questions people have had about how wildlife will be coping with uh, the floodwaters. Um, there could have been worse times of the year for the floodwaters to come this year. Um, a lot of our native wildlife in Pennsylvania has finished nesting and a lot of the young wildlife has already gone off on its own. The bird, most of the birds have nested, the, uh, most of the, the deer, uh, the fawns mostly are about uh, half grown by now. They're, they're fending for themselves, although they're still traveling with their mothers. Um, but uh, there could have been much worse time of the year for this flooding to come in terms of wildlife. Um, May would have been uh, a much more disastrous point for uh, wildlife in terms of having their uh, babies in their nests and in their burrows. Uh, that's not to say that uh, there won't be an impact. Uh, animals, wildlife will tend to cope with this better than uh, humans do. Uh, they'll tend to avoid the uh, flooded areas, uh, which could mean that they'll be moving into uh, some residential areas uh, more than normal for this time of year. Uh, you could see all kinds of critters in your backyards in the next uh, few days or already because of floodwaters in your neighborhood. Um, people's main concern, of course, are going to be the snakes. Uh, yes, some snakes will have moved up, up uh, to higher terrain slightly because of the, the floodwaters. On the other hand, a lot of uh, moisture out there in the wild um, could mean less travel by a lot of snakes, uh, rattlesnakes, copperheads, that we normally see this time of year because they're traveling largely in pursuit of uh, the prey, which is moving mostly to maintain uh, easy access to water. So now there's water everywhere out there. So we could see less movement by some of the uh, snakes. Um, um, there was a lot of concern yesterday over a groundhog that had climbed up onto a fence in the, the flooded Stotara Creek down downstream from here quite a bit um, but that groundhog was just fine it was taking a break before it swam to safety uh, and eventually it did just get down off that fence and and swim with the current to until it was able to climb into a uh, tree groundhogs can climb surprising to a lot of people they also are very good swimmers a lot of wildlife that you'd be concerned about are very good swimmers. That said, uh, floodwaters like we're having in central Pennsylvania right now are going to be disruptive to wildlife. Um, you're going to see wildlife in your neighborhoods that you may not see in uh, as regularly this time of year. Um, it's we're lucky in that it's not going to be like when there is flooding in the southern United States where where they have to deal with alligators and uh, cottonmouth and species like that coming up into their uh, backyards. Here in Pennsylvania, it it's more benign creatures. Now that said, there is a lot of debris going to be left behind by this flooding. You can see the trees down in the water. 
Uh, just here uh, at uh, the Sutara State Park, uh, I'm standing on the Waterville Bridge, uh, which was brought here to provide cross Sutara Creek uh, access for uh, for uh, Appalachian Trail hikers. You can see this is the Waterville Bridge. The, the bridge was brought here actually from Waterville in Lycoming County um, de decades ago and placed here for use by park users and Appalachian Trail hikers after flooding uh, wiped out huge areas uh, along the Pine Creek and the Little Pine Creek uh, in Lycoming County. Um, speaking of the Appalachian Trail, there's been reports that uh, some areas of the Appalachian Trail have actually been flooded, forcing uh, hikers to, to choose alternate routes, um, particularly down in uh, uh, Cumberland County this has been happening. Uh, in Cumberland County, we have, we have some of the longest stretches of low, of low land Appalachian Trail along the entire route, Maine to Georgia. So uh, some of that is flooded over in uh, Cumberland County and forcing alternative routes. Now back to the stream. So again, I'm at Swatar, I'm standing on the Waterville Bridge over uh, Swatar Creek in Northern Lebanon County. At the lower, uh, at the lower extreme of Swatara State Park, much of the park is closed today. Particularly the trails, because of flooding, because of damage done by flooding, because of trees down. Um, th that is going to be an ongoing problem uh, during the flood and in the wake of the flooding that we're having. Uh, a lot of trees, their root systems may have been shallow to begin with and are now letting loose as the wet soil just provides release to them. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of trail problems across Pennsylvania uh, with trees down across trails. There's going to be a danger of trees falling. Uh, large branches have been broken off and they'll be falling. Uh, yes, last evening or late yesterday afternoon, a tree actually fell on a car going across uh, the Elizabethville mountain. Um, but, in, but in terms of wildlife, they can cope with this. There will be some loss. It's rel relatively small loss. Uh, like I said, they can cope. Um, fish. Fish are, will simply hunker down find locations in the water such as behind large rock structures, behind submerged logs. Some will even move up into the trees on the banks while the floodwaters are taking place. Um, it's not the situation where they're all going to be flushed out into the Susquehanna River and as the Susquehanna floods then out into the Atlantic Ocean. That isn't the way it works for fish. They'll be uh, finding, picking their spots um, uh, now, muddy water, like you're looking here, that can irritate their gills. I mean, there could be some loss because of that, but this isn't going to lead to large fish kills. After the waters recede, there may be some a few stranded fish, but for the most part, they're going to go back and resume their lives. Um, they may be downstream. They may be downstream from where they were when this all started. Some may actually have taken advantage of the higher water to move upstream. Um, the streams are going to be changed, the structure of the streams are going to be changed underneath there, but the fish are adapting to it. They're generally holding near where they were before the flood water started. Um, one impact of all this rain we've had in the coming weeks could be a real boom in, um, I'm, I'm being corrected. The tree fell on the car on Peters Mountain. Okay, Northern Dauphin County. Um, I was saying, one, one thing we could see um, through the rest of the summer, because of all the moisture that's not on the ground, we could see a real explosion in the late summer wildflowers. 
Uh, it's going to be worth keeping tabs on that and getting out there and watching for it. Um, there's no telling. I mean, a lot of times uh, in the late summer, we're, we're very dry and this is going to give the wildflowers a lot more moisture at a time that they're pushing. So we could see a real boom there. Um, again, Marcus Schneck for PennLive.com along uh, over the Swatara Creek in northern Lebanon County. I'm standing on the Waterville Bridge, which was actually brought here to the state park to provide access to the park and to provide uh, crossing of the stream to Appalachian Trail hikers after flooding decades ago up in uh, Lycoming County. That flooding actually, uh, some of you might remember, actually wiped out much of Little Pine State Park, which has si since been rebuilt. Um, yesterday, while we were watching that groundhog on the fence, there were people demanding that someone go rescue that animal. One, the animal didn't need rescuing, and two, two, there are millions, literally millions of groundhogs in Pennsylvania. And three, no one should have, should have, and they didn't, risk their life to attempt that rescue that wasn't even necessary. Um, so keep that in mind. The wildlife is going to cope with this much better than you and I. Um, I was... Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the debris that's left behind. A lot of people are going to have major cleanup in the wake of this flooding uh, beyond in their homes. I mean, some of the flooding up uh, stream from me here in Pine Grove uh, looks horrendous. Um, but outside on the, in their properties, there's going to be trees down. There's going to be collections of debris. And you're going to want to take care when you're clearing that debris. Um, critters could have sought refuge there and they still might be there uh, there might be snakes in it uh, uh, there might be uh, other bitey type uh, critters like spiders um, so you're going to want to take care when you're moving the debris and getting rid of the debris um, but for the most part when the floodwaters go back down the critters are going to move back to their normal haunts. Um, as I was saying earlier, this could have, this flood, if it had come earlier in the year, say in May, could have been much more impactful on our wildlife uh, when they were, de when they had the babies in the nests, uh, with trees coming down, with squirrels in the nest. Uh, burrows being flooded with uh, rodents like uh, rabbits and uh, groundhogs having their babies in their burrows. But coming when it did, uh, it's not as critical on those, on those critters. Uh, a lot of birds have, uh, the baby birds have fledged and they're off on their own already. Uh, so trees coming down aren't going to be impactful as 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 impactful on bird species. Um, uh, question came through: Where am I? I am standing on what was the Waterville Iron Bridge uh, over the Sutara Creek at the southern end of Sutara State Park in northern Lebanon County. As you can see, the uh, water is running up into the trees over its banks. Uh, there are trees down in the water, but uh, and and uh, there are a lot of trail closures up here in the park, trail and road closures because of flooding, because of uh, damage that's uh, been done with trees falling and flooding. Um, there are people here in the park today. I'm seeing them, but there are signs that the park that the park is mostly closed to public access. Yeah, 
You can hear uh, the insects, the cicadas, the crickets, the katydids, uh, uh, their chorus off in the trees. Probably more than that, you're hearing uh, the traffic on Interstate 81, which is about 100 yards or so behind us. Uh, yes, uh, someone is pointing out that their cousin lives on Gravel Hill Road near where I'm standing, and they had flooding. A lot of the side roads up here in the Lickdale area are closed today. Uh, the Swatara Creek has been out of its bank. It, uh, it hit some campgrounds pretty hard. I haven't been to Pine Grove yet, but, I, but I, I've been seeing images come out of Pine Grove. There's been major flooding up there, up in Tremont, further up. Uh, where some of the tributaries of the Swatara Creek flow through. Um, yes, there, there's a lot of uh, devastation out here. There's going to be a lot of recovery work. But as I've been saying, the, the wild things are going to recover quicker. They haven't been as devastated by this because of the timing. Uh, the fish aren't all flushed into the Susquehanna River. There's fish right in front of us here. They're taking advantage of structure down in the stream. Some will simply go and hug the bottom of the stream where the currents may not be pushing as hard. But they're, they're not all gone. They haven't been destroyed and washed away. They're here. Uh, the wildlife is here. It's just, it adjusts to something like this. There will be some animals that do die in flooding. It happens. It's part of the natural process. So this has been Marcus Schneck for PennLive.com uh, over the Swatara Creek in near Swatara State Park. Be careful out there, watch the roads, and watch the weather.